All right, hello, welcome back to the podcast. Once again, everybody, PayPal and Patreon links are both down below if anybody wants to support me, only do so if you actually can. Also, sorry if the audio is not too good. Again, I can't use my mic at this exact moment. So, Glen Canyon Dam, the dam that holds back Lake Powell, the second largest reservoir in the U.S. It may have to shut down next year because of the water level getting so low. And even though at first glance it will look to you like there should be a fair bit of water level left in the lake, that is unfortunately irrelevant because the water intake system for the turbines in any dam is a fair bit higher than the actual bottom of the dam itself. Because to turn the turbines at a meaningful level to generate real levels of electricity, the water has to go through an enhanced gravity drop. For Lake Powell in particular, at Glen Canyon Dam, the water intakes for the turbines are at 3,490. And for those unaware, the U.S. lake system is measured in elevation feet, or the height of the water surface above sea level. So the lake itself is not thousands of feet deep, it's only a couple hundred. And over the course of time, since the turn of the century about, Lake Powell has dropped from a full level of about 3,700 elevation feet down to around only 3522 as of the low point of this year, which may not initially make sense to some because it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere, so no one, so it should not have that high of a water use level. However, Lake Powell is actually a excess storage reservoir whose purpose, like Lake Mead is, is to release extra water along the Colorado River to keep the Colorado River's water flow adequate in order to supply everybody else who is actually using the Colorado River, the biggest user of which is California, as California, particularly Southern California, gets a fair chunk of its water from the Colorado River, piped several hundred miles across the desert by the Colorado River Aqueduct. And so the Colorado River needs to be kept at adequate levels for those pipelines to be able to extract water from it to pump over to California. And for that, Lake Mead and Lake Powell have to consistently release extra amounts of water two decades or more into the 21st century after being basically in a drought for those two decades that has gradually taken its toll on both of them as they have lost significant amounts of their water level like powell at its lowest point this year being down to only about 23 percent of its total volume and lake mead being down to now only 27 percent as Lake Powell already got down to only, like I said, 3,522 elevation feet, whereas the water intake system is at 3,490. Lake Mead has a bit more life left, as it's currently down to about 1041, whereas its water intake system for the turbines at Hoover Dam is down about 90 feet further at 950 elevation feet. So Lake Mead can last a few more years, however Glen Canyon Dam is likely going to hit its stopping point next year. Now that it's replenishment season of the year, which was artificially boosted this year by releasing extra water from Lake Mead in order to hold the extra water in at Lake Powell, and also, as you can see by the sudden drop, by sacrificing Flaming Gorge Reservoir, which is a reservoir further up north in Utah. However, it's already on its way back down, and is back down to now something like 35, 37, 35, 38. And by the end of the year, based on the usual trends, it will probably be back down to the low 35, 22 or so, maybe a bit lower. And over the initial decline phase of next year during the first half, it stands a good chance of getting pretty close down to 3,500, getting dangerously close to that 3,490, and it may recover some bit during the replenishment phase, it might not. And then during the second half of next year, it is going to be heading down towards that 3490. By the end of next year, it will be so dangerously close to that 3490. So the end result would be the Glen Canyon Dam having to shut down, which would mean the end of about 1 gigawatt of active power generation which would be bad for the localized area within 100 miles or 150 miles of it, as despite what people seem to think, the electric grid is not some flat, even water level like across the country or across any country. Electricity gets gradually used in the area it's generated as it goes. So that one gigawatt from Glen Canyon Dam is primarily used along by the small towns and small cities within about 100 or 150 miles of it, because there's not much there. 
So in its absence, they would be having to rely on power generation from elsewhere, filtering in. However, particularly in summer, when demand is really high everywhere, less and less of that electricity would actually be making it to them across the power lines. And so the actual delivery current they'd be getting would be much weaker, which would cause them fluctuation problems and even some device failures in certain instances. And that's overall just causing more strain in general, if any of their neighboring regions power plants most of which in the southwest are natural gas fired if they want to up generation to compensate and try to make sure that that area formerly powered by glen canyon dam continues to have adequate electricity flow then they're going to obviously have to up the amount of natural gas they're burning increasing granted by a little bit overall but still increasing overall total u.s gas consumption there is a small chance Glen Canyon Dam might survive through to 2024, not have to shut down until the first half of that year. However, it seems most likely that next year is when it's going to have to be turned off. Probably the second half, I would say. But anyways, we'll have to wait and see. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon links down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. I have dozens of other episodes about all kinds of stuff. You can listen to any of those if you want. You can go subscribe to my Catch channel to see way less depressing content. We're also trying to get her up to 1,000 subs before the November deadline. Currently still stuck at 642. But no matter what happens to me, may God bless and protect you all. And I will see you all around next time.